Last time we talked, I remember that the two test is only one way of testing difference between groups. That there are other inferential stats. Right, the N ANOVA is another one. Isn't it strange that all of the letters of ANOVA are capitalized? Yeah, that was because the letters stand for analysis of variance. How is that different from a t-test? With a t-test, you are only able to compare two numbers to each other. ANOVA can compare multiple groups. Hmm, this reminds me of the... Uh, omnibus null hypothesis that the professor mentioned in class because the omnibus has to do with multiple groups. Omnibus? Yeah, an omnibus null hypothesis says that all of the groups are equal to each other. A regular null hypothesis just says that one group doesn't differ from one another. So, group. if you reject the omnibus null hypothesis, that just means that one or more of the groups is different than the others, but you don't know which ones. Oh, so then you would have to do a t-test to find the specific differences between two of the groups. So, an ANOVA is just like a t-test for my group. But I'm confused, because I thought t-test were comparing means. But the ANOVA sounds like it's analyzing variance. That was confusing to me, too. I remember the prof mentioning variance ratio, which sounds like you are comparing variance. Which means how the groups vary from each other. Where do you get the numbers for the variance ratio? You take the difference between the groups and then divide by the difference that exists within the group. Okay, let me think about what that means. So, if you want to reject the null hypothesis, you want the differences between the groups to be big and the differences within the group to be small. You can't get big between group differences by having a really good intervention, like a really great drug for ADD, compared to a really bad drug for ADD, compared to a no drug group. How do you get small within group group variance? You need a really similar sample of people who all have the same level of severity of ADD. I see. So if your drug is really good, you will find out that it is good if you have a very different group you are comparing your group to, but with, within your group, people are very similar. <laughs> Speaking of similarity within the group, the most similar group would be the same people measured twice, like in a within group t-test. Can you do that with an ANOVA? Yeah, you can use different scores, just like you did for the within group t-test. The only difference is that you can compare more than two groups. I'm really glad I took this class. I'm already seeing ways I can use this in the future.